right, so we're doing another first look for another knife by Dylan McCown. Now, uh, yes, I already opened the box because I needed to ship something quickly, but I haven't looked at this yet. So I'm going to unwrap it and take a look. This is the EDC. The EDC by Dylan with, I want to say it was G10 handles. Feels like G10. I'll get all the specs for you here. Spine is not too 290-ish too there, but it feels more 90-ish up here. Um, I have another one by him, a little blade, that these corners here and uh, the spine are a lot more sharp, but on this one, it is not. And, well, I mean, they're still sharp, but it's not, you know. Yeah, it's still taking off some hair. Let's test. It's not as sharp as the uh, the, the the drop point that I shared. It's weird. It's like, okay, it's scraping up skin cells, but it's taking off some hair. They're not as sharp as the uh, the drop point, I don't think. The the copper sand mascus, or the, the copper one that I showed a while ago. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Just bad technique. There we go. Oh, that that that, that tore. That was bad technique. Let's see. Okay, getting better. Again, just bad technique. Let's see how this does on wood. Okay, so. Uh, it's like four and a quarter for the handle. The, I guess, blade from the finger guard to tip is, oops, see, still not there. Four and a quarter. So, four and a quarter, four and a quarter, that's what, uh, eight and a half overall. I believe it's an eighth inch thick of 80 CRV2 and these kind of green. Uh, G10-ish handles. I think they're G10. They feel like G10. They don't feel like Micarta. Or at least not that I'm typically aware of. Still, fit and finish. I mean, everything is... You know, everything is flush. Everything is flush on there. You know, bolts aren't sticking up. No, no metal sticking out uh, from the tang to the handles. So, it's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, I think the edge probably could be a little bit better out of the box this time. Let's go ahead and test. Let's go ahead and test the spine. Yeah, so even though it's kind of rounded off a little bit here, it's still sharp enough to strike the ferro rod as you saw. Not gonna be chopping any logs or batoning any big pieces of wood, but we'll baton this piece. We'll baton this small piece. See how it see how it does. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad on batoning. This may have already had curls on it. So let's start that again. Yeah, it's not really a chopper because it's so small. All right, let's see how it does with these pulling feather sticks. Now that we got that cleared off.
I'll be honest, I've never done this before. Wow. Trigger finger got caught. Here's my curls. Yeah, it was a little tough, but got my curls. All right, so I definitely don't want to say that was abuse because it's not. It was just a little, little light testing. But let's see how it does now. Yeah, yeah I kind of tore through there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I gotta get my groove back again. There we go. See, so I just gotta get my groove back. There we go. There we go. Ah, got one caught. Yeah, a little tricky right here. Yeah. Oh, probably what I'm doing is I'm probably catching it right there. If you can tell. Right there, where where the blade kind of stops and goes into the guard. That's probably where I'm catching it. Right in that transition point when I'm trying to do this. Now the paper's starting to get moist. Yeah, so it's still it's still sharp. Um, I I don't know. I like it. I like Dylan's stuff, as I said before. I got much of his stuff. I think the edge could be a little better on this one. Um, other than that, you know, I've got no no issue. I just think the edge could have been done up a little bit more. Also, I know in my last uh, copper Damascus, um, I said that the old EDC I have from him um, has a cross stitch on the sheath. I, I dug this out. It does not. And actually, I kind of like this one more. This one is, I still haven't touched it up, and it's it's sharper. See, look at that, boom. This one, this one's sharper, right out of the box. <clears throat> and I kind of like the shape on this one a little bit more. This one is from 22. And just, look at that, just... See, so I like I like this one a little bit more from Dylan. Um, it's also a little bit a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. I like this one a little bit more from from him. Um, this is still a good blade, and it's definitely a good user blade. It's definitely a good user blade, no no doubt about it. I like this older one better though. This one just yeah, it's just I think it's just lacking that that edge that this one has. So. Yeah, I mean, so definitely, I mean, still check out Dylan. I'll check, I'll put his website below. As you see, I got three knives by him. I got a hawk by him. I got a hatchet by his dad. He good stuff. I just, I don't know, I think this one could have been a little better on the edge. But other than that, it's good. All right, remember, get outside, enjoy life, stay hydrated. And don't think I'm poo-pooing on this knife. I'm not. It's still a good knife. It's just, it has a working edge. Uh, I feel like the edge could be a little sharper. So it's not going to go into my EDC rotation, but it will go into my beater knife rotation. There's a difference between the two for me. So remember, I still like this knife. It's just, it's not EDC for me. Check out all these videos floating around here for other great content. Also, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, comment, check out the links below. It all helps the channel and the family every little bit.